Okay, so I've got a different chart for you here. Kind of set this up in a different way. The last time I was holding the camera and it was real shaky. And <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people, uh, many people upset in the comments. But anyway, I'm trying something different. So this right here is a chart and it shows the kills here. This is what we call the range or conhook range coming in here. Manhattan would be up in this area over here and the Maranzano Bridge would be down here. But this is the start of the Arthur Kills here. It comes through here. And this is the Bayonne Bridge. Bergen Point here. Shooter's Island. We come down here around Port Ivory and Holland Hook. And uh, the AK Railroad Bridge. And the New Gothels Bridge. And then this is all the Arthur Kills down here. Where this is over here. The Kill Van Cole. I see it was the author kills before I'm sorry if I did I'm not really paying attention but this is the kill van cult and from here down is the author kills over here anyway today we're going to be taking a barge right out of right here and we're going to be coming out and going this way and going up to a ship the problem is is that the ship that I was waiting for it was about three hours late. As you guys know, the tide is a little bit over six hours. So I would have normally come out at around slack water. But the tide was flooding, and three hours in is right about the hop of the flood. So we got a lot of flood coming this way. So what I try to demonstrate in the video is that since the dock is like this, and we're married to the barge like this, the tide is holding me up there, and you'd think that'd be great, and you'd pull off. Well, what happens is there isn't a lot of tide up on the front part of the barge because the dock is blocking the wa all the water. So as I start sliding back, the tide grabs the back end of the tug and wants to pull it and lift the bow off and go this way. But as you know, we want to go this way. Something that's kind of funny, and I mentioned this in the video, is that sometimes with a loaded barge, when it starts going that way, it's actually quicker to go 270 degrees around and let the momentum carry itself around than it is to try to fight that 90 degrees back because it takes so much energy to take the energy that's stored in the barge out. And uh, so, but that's not what happens today. You'll see how we handle that situation with uh, there's a little bit of wind coming this way and a whole lot of tide coming this way. And I uh, hope you like it. So, stick around. Traffic from the Elk River. Elk River traffic, go ahead, Jeff. Good morning. Hey, we're over here at Buckeye Bayonne, uh, made up in push gear with a partially loaded bunker barge, double skin 29, 350 by 13, deep draft on the tug. And I think we're going up to 8 p.m. to get alongside that Grande New York that's coming in, wherever he's going. They are bound for Berth 17 at Port Stewart. Uh, I have the Tealy at the Salt Dock, bound for Newtown Creek, followed by the Mary H and the Paul Ann. That's the Port Richard Sled Dock for the North River. But we shipped it by the Durham from front of the Mobile off of uh, Iron Tier 9. And um, we got the Captain, one more for our 
Very good, thank you. Good company and all. All right, Reggie, let him go. Stir in the bow. Security call, Tug Elk River, singling up lines at Buckeye Bayonne. We'll be westbound in the kills, bound up for our shipside, Port Newark. Tug Elk River. Okay, so the problem I have right now, we've been waiting for a ship that's like three hours late. So we're right about in the middle of the tide. And the tide is going this way. Now the good news is we're getting about 15 knots of wind this way and the barge isn't completely loaded. But when I back up, oh, my phone's got to ring every time we let lines go. Elk River, this is Tim. Hello. So as I was saying, I gotta back up, and as I back up, the tide's gonna wanna grab me and push me down onto this next barge over here. I should be able to hold up from there, but we'll get pointed probably the wrong way, and sometimes it's easier to do 270 degrees than it is to do 90 back. Once it gets moving, sometimes you can just roll it that way. But right now, once we get ready, I'll probably be twisting. I've got my rudder hard over to the port, and uh, I'll be lifting up the stern and then backing harder so that I'll try to stay flat as I come back. And like I say, the bow's going to want to come out and the stern's going to want to get pushed down with the tide. So I'll be doing a twist to counter that the whole time. And uh, if we have to, we could just lay up against the pad and back on out and that will be fine. But it'd be nicer to come out a little straight if I can. And uh, if I can, well, I, it, I might even get a little bit of an angle and then back up. The problem with getting a little bit of an angle... Last line, take it in. I'm going to start uh, twisting against you. The problem about getting a little bit of an angle is that if you're up against the dock, you don't build up any momentum. But if you get a little angle, you got to get enough angle so that when you back down, you don't make contact, contact with the dock. So that's the task at hand. Reggie, were you able to lean up against that pad up there? Yeah. Alright, cool. We all we all gone? Yeah. Alright, uh, 1120 underway. So now, I think what I'm going to do is try to give myself a little bit of angle and kind of do it. Alright. To do a kind of hybrid of giving myself a little angle and twin screwing to hold it off. But first I got to build up the angle. So that's what we're doing right now. Curtis Ryan, our cat, try to stay in Thank you, sir. Security call to Elk River is underway from Buckeye Bayonne. We'll be westbound on the kills. Bound up for Shipside in Point Newark. All right. Okay, so now I've got some angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm, right now I'm in a port twist. So now what I'm going to do is to start backing up. I put my starboard engine in neutral and I'm just backing hard on my port engine to get us moving backwards. And now that we're moving backwards and I'm starting to fall down, I'm going to start coming ahead on that po on that starboard engine again with the rudder hard over to keep straight. Three feet, very good. So he's telling me I've got three foot of room up there. I can see i got about ten foot of room here, so I'm maintaining my angle. I'm getting out far enough out, I'm going to straighten out my rudder to, so that I won't get dragged one way or the other, put both engines hooked up astern, and away we go. We're going to back up out of here like a cork coming out of a bottle. Alright, we're up to 3-4 right now, backing up, putting, and we're coming out relatively straight. It looks like my plan of doing a little bolt worked out perfect. We never came back into the dock. We're coming back straight. Once we get into the tide, we'll move together, but when the, just the stern's in the tide, we get cocked. So I think we're going to be fine. So now we're doing 5.4 knots, 5.5 knots of stern. I'm going to go all stop. Let the, uh, let the, uh, shaft brakes tighten up, put my rudder hard over to port. We're still coming back at five knots because uh, we're just momentum here. So 
Now I come ahead on my port engine with the rudder hard over to port. Call traffic, let them know that I'm in, that I'm out. Traffic from the Elk River. We are underway at this time. Elk River traffic, call Andrew off of the Elk, off of the Upper Bay, Northern Port. Very good, thank you. Okay, so now we're down to 2.6 knots. We're still coming astern, but she's starting to turn. I could probably do this fine, but I'm going to clutch my port engine astern just to keep us from building up momentum forward. I don't want to go crashing it into to that barge that's up ahead of us. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm trying a different camera, but it's heavier, so it's shaking with the, <laughs> with the rattle. It's shaking pretty good. We never discover a new way if we don't experiment. So we're trying different shots with different cameras. Unfortunately, you guys have to suffer through it. Okay, so now we're, we're just about doing 0 0.6 knots this way, which means that we'd have no lateral movement either way. So with the rudder hard over, I'm just going to start coming ahead on both engines, and we're gone. Um, because we're only doing one knot, and I'm in the middle of the channel here, 1.5, 1.6, 1.8 knots, now we're accelerating all the time. I'm going to get it straightened out. I'm straightening out my rudder right now, and get it straightened out. Once I get pointed in the channel here and we get way on, now we're up to 3.5 knots. That's probably good right there. So now that I've got way on, I'm out of everyone's way and I have way so I can maneuver one way or another, I'll pull back the clutch because there's a yellow and white ship up there that we're going to and he's on his way to the berth. So even when he gets to the berth, he still has to get tied up and get through customs and immigration and all that before we can come alongside. So if I go charging up there right now, uh, it's not going <laughs> to, that just means I'm going to have to wait there. So I'd rather wait while I'm making way. So that's the idea. Anyway, that was just a quick little video for you guys sh showing you uh, how we get underway when the, we got a flood tide pressing you to the dock. And... Uh, if you like this sort of video and you want to support the channel, you can give us a thumbs up, you can subscribe, you can write a comment, all those things help. You can also go down to the merch shelf and buy a coffee cup or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, all those things help out the channel. Or if you want to be one of the, one of the cool kids, <laughs> the people in Patreon, all, the, all of the Patreon guys pay all the bills for all the rest of us to watch can't thank them enough for as little as two dollars a month or as mo much as uh, five dollars a month you can uh, be a patron be on the crew that uh, is really helping out helping to make sure that these videos continue to improve and get better and continue to get up there anyway thank you so much you guys stay safe say that say stay say god what is wrong with me you guys stay safe and as always see you on the one